Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Poor Man's Chemist. In this video, we are going to be making an unstable compound, silver chloride. Um, this stuff really does not want to exist. It really wants to break down to form silver chloride and oxygen. The literature says that it will explode at 105 degrees C. That's not been my experience. However, if you even so much as touch it with a hot piece of metal, it will immediately flash over and burn within just a second or two. Um, it burns with a very hot flame. It explodes when it's mixed with a number of other substances. It would mix with sulfur. It basically forms flash powder. And if you whack it with a hammer, it will blow up kind of like Armstrong's mixture. So we're going to demonstrate all of that. Um, needless to say, this is a kind of compound that I would not make and keep in my collection. I would just kind of make it up and play with it as I wanted to and... Um, yeah, definitely not keep it on the shelf. Since this is a silver compound, we have to start in the shed and keep everything as dark as possible. We've got about, oh, come out of there, you. We've got about 4.2 grams of silver nitrate dissolved in here and 2.23 grams of sodium chloride dissolved in there. Now, silver chloride, a lot like silver nitrite, seems to be it molecular to some extent because it readily precipitates out of aqueous solution. Um, it will dissolve in a very limited extent um, in, in acetonitrile, but not very much. It's supposed to dissolve in ammonia, but, you know, silver compounds, ammonia silver nitride that explodes if you look at it cross-eyed. I'm not real eager to play with that and find out if that's true, especially given the properties of this compound as they are. So just going to mix these together here. You see it drops right out. Rinse this here. Get it all in there. There we go. Stir it up. Very nice. Now when it's damp or wet, it seems to be pretty much harmless. Um, it's only when it's dry that it seems to be, you know, wanting to fall apart at the slightest provocation. So for now, I mean, we can filter this in the normal way. You can press it dry between paper towels, put it in the desiccator, and the dry stuff, so long as you don't touch it with anything that's hot, or with any iodinated alkanes like iodoethane, which it's supposed to explode on contact with, and I think diiodomethane, just don't mix any iodoalkanes with it, or try to. Um, I don't know how safe this stuff is with other stuff. There's not a lot of information about this compound out there. So if you decide to make this up and play with it, I would be extremely careful just because there are a whole lot of unknowns involved with this compound. All right, so we've got it set up over here to, like I said, filter just in the normal way. So we're just going to dump it out here. Should filter pretty easily because it's kind of clumpy. Rinse it out there. Get out of there, goddammit. Fucking don't be difficult. Why you gotta be fucking difficult for? I swear to God. <laughs> so, anyway, like I said, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out of here once it's um filtered and I've rinsed it once. I'm gonna press it between as dry as I possibly can between some paper towels, and then I'm gonna put it in the desiccator overnight, and we will come back tomorrow morning once it is dry, and we will play around with this stuff. So I will come back then. All right, so it's the next day, and this stuff has been sitting in the desiccator all night, and there it is. See, it's very nice, very pretty. Um, what we are going to do now is play around with this a little bit and show you guys some of its properties. All right, so this stuff will decompose very quickly if you heat it up. See, it basically 
disappears in an instant and it leaves behind this shit that looks for all the world like silver metal but I think it's actually melted and resolidified silver chloride okay so here is our piece of this stuff now I should be able to break it apart with the scupula pretty easily it crumbles and doesn't seem inclined to do anything scary when it's like this. It is supposed to be sensitive to shock, but I've whacked the pure stuff with a hammer and absolutely nothing happens. Now, we are going to mix this with some sulfur. And when we do that, we are going to create a pretty dangerous mix. It flashes over in an instant that's why i've got it on a paper towel because i'm going to light the paper towel and let that carry the flame over to it i'm not putting my letter near that shit it isn't substantially bigger than what you already holy shit okay wow that was new all i did was barely try to scoop it up it had to be just the friction from this thing scooping across it. Holy shit. This stuff is more dangerous than I thought. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, that was a pretty damn good demonstration. Fuck, that, I didn't even know it would do that. Okay. Yeah. Definitely a dangerous compound. Now let's mix them with some sulfur and whack it with a hammer. All right, you guys see all this? I have to move it back a little bit here. Just because there isn't going to be much to see. It's all going to be over in an instant. Although this time, I will try not to accidentally set it off. Okay, I really don't want to mix that with any sulfur. <laughs> Except where I want it to be mixed with sulfur. All right. Little pile of it. Gently this time. Gently. Okay. Let's see if this will work for us. Don't you go off, you son of a bitch. All right. Ear protection for me is probably going to terrify my dogs. Not as loud as Armstrong's mixture is, but definitely sensitive to being whacked by a hammer. <laughs> Man, I'm really surprised nobody else has made and played with this stuff on YouTube. I mean, this stuff is hella fun. It's, it's, it's great fun to play with. Dangerous, but fun. All right. Um, well, let's try a little bit more this time. Let's try a bigger piece. And see what that gets us. Okay. Well, that's the first time it's gone off just from me crushing it. And this was, this is a, a cool scupula. So that wasn't it. See, here, I got this little, I thought this was silver metal at first, but I, I'm pretty sure now that this is silver chloride. It just looks metallic. I don't know why. So yeah, don't 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 lose that shit. That is one nice thing about silver chloride is at least it, you know, decomposes into nice little pellets that are easy to scoop up and recycle. <laughs> you know, get the silver back out of that shit. Um, well damn. This stuff is getting kind of touchy. All right, let's try a different scupula. And let's try a smaller pile. 
This shit is more unhappy than I thought. So I'd really like to test it with the percussion again. Be a little more gentle this time with the breaking it up. Oh yeah, some unidentified organic matter mixed in there. That should make it totally pissed off. A little sulfur. Huh. Tell you what, shit's making me wish I had like an iodinated fucking alkane to drip on it and see if that too would explode. Real gentle. Gentleness is the key. Until we don't want to be gentle anymore. Are we focused, piece of shit? All right. I guess all cameras are going to be named piece of shit. Okay, that was a lot louder. <laughs> oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. Come on, Marky. You're good, boy. It's all right. Okay, okay. Daddy won't do that again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're a good boy. It's all right. See, I can't, I can't play with this kind of shit. It traumatizes my dogs. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> All right, well, I don't want to traumatize my dogs or piss off my roommate. He doesn't like it when I blow stuff up either. I don't know why. The dude has a measurable testosterone level. I have no idea what his problem is when it comes to stuff that goes boom. Well, let's see. Can we even break up this big chunk without it going nuclear on us? Okay. It doesn't seem to be the crushing. I think it was the scraping motion before, the friction. Be real gentle. And I am going to try to mix this with some sulfur and then light the paper. And that way, hopefully, you guys can see it. If this shit decides it wants to cooperate and doesn't want to go up in a puff of smoke on us again. All right. Got the long scoop back out here again. I don't think it will explode like this. I think it would just flash. All right. Okay, moment of truth. Here we go. Yep. And we've got more little pellets of silver chloride all over the place. And this being the filter paper from where I filtered this stuff, it will probably just keep kind of smoldering. I've noticed that paper towels that are soaked in the solution will just kind of perma burn. <laughs> They'll just smolder and smolder until they're finally consumed. All right, get all my silver back here. Since this channel has four cash donors and one person that donates equipment, the form of crucibles and a computer now, which is really awesome. The dude said he had like a said he had several computers he wasn't using. I don't know. Um, it's not new, but I don't need it to be new. I just need it to work. I just need a working computer. So yeah, um, definitely gotta save as much of this as possible and try to recycle it because I am so fucking broke. Kind of like everybody else these days. Well, that was fun. I guess we'll wrap it up there. 
If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, well, you have no sense of adventure. Subscribe, comment, share the video, please. If you can't donate a few bucks, please share the videos. That, that, that's the next most helpful thing you can possibly do. Although, even if you can you know, only throw a few bucks my way, trust me, man, it, even a few dollars helps. We need glacial acetic acid here in the worst way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people, till the next one. I see you later.